everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by, I'm your girl Bella and I would totally love if you hit that subscribe button down below and click on the little bell so you can be notified for all my new videos. Hi guys, happy Monday. Are we excited? Okay, I am so, so excited. You'll have to forgive the reflection in the back of me because I'm finally in my dining room. I finally got all my home decor unpacked. Yeah, all of it. All my home decor is unpacked. So now it is time to decorate. Okay, first off, <laughs> I know on Friday's video, I said that I'm not gonna do seasonal decor yet. Scratch that. I lied. Well, I didn't lie. I didn't think I was going to. Um, so I really didn't think I was going to. Oh my God, what's going on with my hair? Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So I didn't think I was going to do seasonal decor. But when I got everything out and I saw all the stuff I had, I thought, oh, no, no. I really want to do a nautical theme. And guess what? I had just enough. I had just enough stuff to do the entire dining room nautical. And I kind of like this idea um, because I know some of you have seen the front entrance and it opens up into the, it opens up into the dining room. Like it's kind of open. And I'm gonna give you a tour of the dining room. Um, maybe in this video, maybe tomorrow. Cause I am gonna do, I'm gonna try and film this whole thing, like the entire dining room and everything I've done in it and everything I'm gonna do in it. But I thought, I let's decorate this hutch together cause I'm so excited. First of all, I'm so happy that I found all this, all my decor. Cause it was, it was like kind of Christmas, you know, like it's kind of, you know, Christmas when you, when you move and you, and you unpack everything and then you see what you, you have, it's, it's kind of exciting. So anyways, so my dining room is going to be a nautical theme for summer. So from now, and then I'll leave it uh, until I get ready uh, for fall, which is not going to be that far away because we all know that like I'm obsessed with fall and I cannot wait to decorate for fall. Okay. Enough of me rambling. Um, should I show you guys what I'm... Okay, I'll just show you what I'm going to use as we go along, okay? Hey guys, I opened the doors here. It's a double door. My hutch has uh, two double doors in the middle. And it's mirrored in the back, so you're going to see like a double reflection of me. You see the back of me and you see the front of me. But um, I'm so excited to do this. Okay, I'm gonna reach down, so you have to forgive me, because everything's here in front of me. Okay, guys, do you remember this wreath? I hauled this, and I got it from Pier 1. There, you can see it there. And I just broke a twig off of it, that's great. Okay, so I got this at Pier 1, and I got it on crazy clearance. So I thought, just to put this up here, like that, and that, told, oh, well you can't really see, so let's see. All right, you know what? We'll decorate and then I'll show you everything and then I'll pan in close once we're done the the hutch. But I'll show you the items one by one that I wanna place in there. Oh, and I did already clean it. I, I used spray away to clean it and then I used um, the wood polish to clean it also. Okay, I got this, I got two of them actually. And I know I hauled these for you guys way back and I think these look like beachy, nautical, and they're on stands. They're really cute. How much were these? Um, hmm. We'd have to go look in an older video to find them. But I'm going to place them up here. I know you can't see, and I don't know if I can move my camera. But I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so I placed them up there. And then, sorry, I'm reaching down, guys. I had this... Um, this blink like nautical it's glass and it's pretty it's nice a nice color it's like blue and it's kind of iridescent but it reminds me of a nautical like a nautical knot 
but kind of like a glam knot. So I got this kind of rustic going, um, but then I have the glam knot. So I thought that would look cute. And the color ties in really good in the color with the wreath. Maybe if I turn the light off, it won't glare as much. Hold on. Is that a bit better? No, not really. Okay, I'm going to leave the light on because it's not very bright in here. Okay. Then, so that's shelf number one. So shelf number two, I thought of doing this. Do you guys remember this? We made this together in a DIY video, and it's just really cute. It's a cloche. I filled it with sand and some seashells and then some greenery picks that reminded me of seaweed. So that's it there in its entirety. So I'm going to put the cloche in here. And I got this cloche pretty inexpensively, guys. It was pretty inexpensive, this cloche. It was, I think it was $14.99 at um, Home Goods. And, sorry, <laughs> let me move you back. Let me move you back so you can see better. Can you see better? Yeah. Okay. So there it is. It was $14.99 at uh, Home Goods. Okay. And then the next thing, sorry, I'm bending down. So the next thing I want to use is this uh, seashell tray. It's um, it's like a condiments tray, not a condiments tray, like a like an hors d'oeuvre tray. You know how old this is? This is my mom's from way back in the day. And I just got one of these um, clear um, plastic plate holders and I thought I'll put it here. Can you see? Okay. And I'll just put it here and then that gives you kind of like a nautical look there. And then I got these picks. Do you guys remember these picks? I hauled a whole bunch of these. They're from my dollar store um, here, my local dollar store. And they're, um, I think they were $2. This one reminds me of seaweed. So that's why I wanted to use it. And then I got two, uh, two shells. Hold on, I'll show you what I wanna do. So I'm just gonna put the little greenery pick there. And then this sand dollar, can you see it? Is actually from the Gulf Shores. And so is this. This is from our, like my vacations and travels. And I just thought, you know what, just to add a little, um, more sea, sea stuff, I would do that. So then that's that the first and second shelf done. Okay, let's do the third. On the third shelf, I just want to leave it really simple. I have this really pretty arrangement and it's got magnolia leaves in it and it's got these like wispy branches. It's, it came like this. This is so old. My God, I got this. Oh my. I want to say, I want to say 10 years ago. Yeah, I think it's 10 years old and I take really, really good care of my stuff, guys. So I just put it down there and that's it. So the middle part is done and now let's move to that side and I'll show you what I want to do on that side. Okay. Okay, guys. So do you remember these plates that I had in my, um, I had these plates and they were from TJ Maxx, I think, and they're the melamine kind. I love them. And I'm so glad that I had them so I didn't have to go out and buy other plates, but I'm going to put one plate on the top and then this other plate down here to add some, um, color and dimension to my, um, my hutch. Okay, and on the top here, I love my decanters and I've had my decanters for years and years and years and I don't wanna get rid of them. And I do think that a decanter always looks so pretty in a hutch. So I'm just gonna place my decanter in front of the plate and then I'm gonna use another one of these picks that remind me of seaweed. And actually, this one still has the price on it. There, you can see the price there. It was only $2. And let's just take the price off. It was $2 from my local dollar store. So if you have a Dollarama near you, I highly, highly recommend it. Okay, so just kind of fluffed it up a little bit. And I'm going to tuck it behind my decanter like that. And then I have more sand dollars for my travels. 
and some more seashells that we had found. And guys, when I, um, typically when I go to the beach, I, I know I have my back to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to place this properly. Okay. All right, there we go. So, and, and I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see it better. Oh my God, my sand dollar's not staying. There we go, okay. Let me reach over and get the other thing. Okay, do you remember this? I also hauled this for you guys. And this is from Pier One and it's just the Starfish Lantern. I love this lantern. This was originally priced here, yeah, I have the price on it. So if you, if you haven't seen it before, it was originally priced at $49.99 and I got it for $14.18. Um, so I like this. I'm just going to place that there. Just nice and simple, but it totally gives the vibe. Okay, a few more things. Um, I got this. I don't know if you guys remember this. I had it I had it in the hutch last time. So I'm just going to put... It, it's a candle holder, a mercury glass candle holder, and a topiary ball. And I just put them together, and I'm going to put that in there like that. And then... Again, I'm going to use um, another one of these picks. Hold on, it's intertwined. Another pick. Oh, let me take the price off. And this little, um, why is my light? Dollar store, Dollar Tree um, little thing. And it was pink, it was gold. And I just, you know, kind of distressed it and painted it cream so you could see it there. And then a few more seashells. And then just the pick around here to give it some look. So let me do that and then we'll move to the other side. So we're on the other side now, on this side here. I know you can see my tripod. And again, I'm gonna use two of these blades and I kind of like to mimic what I did on one side and the other. So a plate on the top and then a plate on the bottom just for some, like I wanted something light in there. And then again, I have another decanter. This decanter is my mom and dad's from, oh my God, from when they, they were married <laughs> or from their wedding, maybe. I don't even remember. And then in the middle shelf, because they don't have another lantern, sorry, um, I got this at the Target dollar spot when I was searching for nautical um, decor and this was only three dollars and I thought this was really cute actually I was gonna use it in Angela's bathroom but I'm gonna use it here now and then just for some color and to kind of make this look a little bit better do you guys remember these I got these last year at the Dollar Tree they're just little um, starfish uh, tea light holders so I just thought I'll just put one on each side and it'll look kind of cute and kind of finished and that's it. And then, what did I have? Oh, I have a pick for up here with some seashells. So there's my pick. I'm going to add that. And then on the bottom, I have another mercury glass candle holder with a topiary ball. And I'm going to put that over here. And then I'm going to add another one of these dollar dollar tree little i don't know trinkets whatever and then that'll be done and then we'll be done so let me do that and then i'll show you the hutch in its entirety i just want to tell you one thing before i am um, i I, sh I turn the camera around and i show you uh what the hutch looks like finished because i think it looks really cute I do remember these greenery picks that I hauled for you guys. These are also from that dollar store. And I'm telling you, they rival, <laughs> they rival Michaels and Hobby Lobby all day long. They are so pretty. Okay, I aired them out. Like I kind of played with them because they are wired. They are wired here. And I played with them. And what I've done is I bent this and I kind of bent the top like that. So it sits over a ledge. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and move you back and show you. Let me see if I can. Uh, no, okay. At the top of my hutch, I'm gonna add this right in the corner and I'm gonna have it draping down. So it looks like seaweed. 
um, you know, from the ocean. Anyways, but okay, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll look at the hutch together. That's the end of my video. I hope you liked this video. I loved how it turned out. I think it's so cute. But before I end this video, I just want to tell you guys something. Um, a lot of people are probably thinking, when did you get all this stuff? Like, how did all this come about? I thought you weren't going to do seasonal decor. I had all this stuff. This is all the stuff I had. I didn't buy one single thing. Now I have bought them in the past, obviously, but I didn't buy anything new to create this. The picks I had, the decanters I had, the platters I had, everything I had. So I love doing this and I hope this gives you some inspiration to search your home because you'd be surprised. You know those little tea lights, the starfish tea lights? I totally forgot I had them. And they're from Dollar Store, a uh, Dollar Tree. Guys, a lot of the stuff in here is just some creativity. It's like really high end. Some things are high end and some things are low end. And it's just a mix match of creativity. But I wanted to do this to show you that you can take a really, really, really traditional hutch and make it so unique and so different, adding decor. This is not my idea. I got this idea from my good friend Liz here on YouTube. <laughs> I love it. Liz like hooked me up with this idea and I was like, oh my God, sky's the limit because I have totally been enjoying this. I will link other videos that I've done decorating my hutch. I did it for spring and I did it for Easter. So I'll link the videos down below if you want to see them. They're lots of fun to see actually. So my dining room is going to be nautical. I'm going to stop talking now because I'm a little bit of a babbler. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hope you have a great Monday and come back tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Tomorrow because I'm going to show you the rest of the dining room. I'm going to film it right now, but I'll show you guys tomorrow. Bye, YouTube. Bye, everybody. Mwah. Love you guys. Have a fantastic week ahead. It is Monday and you know what I say. Monday is the best day of the week because it's the start of a new week and fresh week and God only knows what could happen in one week. Actually, one day, one minute. Oh my God. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Love you.